Recently I learned about a Polish hero from World War II, Vito Pilecki. His life was absolutely inspiring, a true hero, what he went through, the adversity he overcame in his life, the things he put himself through, being voluntarily going to Auschwitz to set up a spy network, providing so much information that helped the Allies in World War II, as well as before that and after that, he went through so much it was an amazing story. I made a reaction recently, so go check that out if you've not already. And people recommended another Polish hero to learn about, Maximilian Kolbe, the saint of Auschwitz. So another hero from a similar time period. And I'm just interested to learn about his story. Tell me if you know about Maximilian Kolbe, what you know about him. And tell me what you think about this one as well. Let's learn. When was the last time you chose to truly help someone? did something for a friend or someone you love or even a total stranger what this man would do for a stranger one day would shock the world and amaze millions as a child he had a vision the Virgin Mary came to him that night I asked the mother of God what was to become of me she came to me holding two crowns one white the other red she asked me if I was willing to choose either of these crowns the white one meant that I should persevere in purity and the red, that I should become a martyr. He said that he would choose them both. Ooh. He dedicated his life to God and the Virgin Mary, traveling the world before setting up a monastery in a printing press, sending millions of newspapers weekly. In 1939, his home country of Poland was invaded by the Germans. He could have lived a quiet life, given up his publishing and keeping under the radar. He chose not to. When the Gestapo came for him, he could have escaped. He chose not to. Well, already, like, the thing that is similar with Vito Pilecki already is before whatever happens, clearly, they lived amazing lives before World War II. Vito Pilecki was a great man in his community. Maximilian, doing so much for religion, providing so much for the people as well. Not only are they heroic and the ultimate actions they do, but just in their general life, is actually so inspiring. Imprisoned, he was beaten and tortured for his faith. He could have renounced it. He chose not to. Sent to Auschwitz, he became prisoner number 16670. He didn't stop helping others, handing out his pitiful rations and drinks, praying for the dying and comforting those in need. One day, one of the prisoners from his block escaped. He and the other prisoners were lined up. An SS officer arrived and announced that 10 of them would be starved to death as a punishment. One by one, the 10 were selected from amongst their ranks. The priest was not one of them. One of the men chosen, Franciszek Gajowniczak, cried out for his wife and his children. Then the priest made his decision. He stepped forward, walked up to the officer, and asked that he give his life in return for that of the man's. Wow. The officer chose to accept. Jeez. So he actually gave up his life. Again, talking about Vito Pilecki, he, he willingly went to Auschwitz, set up a spy network. This man, Maximilian, is actually giving up his life. That's the ultimate sacrifice. He's seen the man, obviously, caring about his wife and child and literally sacrificed his life for him. Like, I mean, I feel a bit shaken by that. That's actually, I've never heard of anybody like li literally just giving their life to help another man in such a situation as well. The 10 prisoners were led to their cell, stripped naked with no food or water to die a lonely, horrible death. He led the agonized prisoners in prayer and meditation. Two weeks later, he was one of the last remaining. He was finally executed by injection, kneeling in prayer and offering his arm to his murderers. His name was Maximilian Kolber. 
to honour the strength of his faith and his courage, please share this film. In 1981, Pope John Paul II made Kolbe the saint of Auschwitz. With the Pope stood Guy of Nietzsche, the man who Kolbe had saved, who somehow survived concentration camps for five years and five months, Jeez. only to return to his home to discover that the children he had cried out for were dead. Oh, I'm not sure if I believe in good or evil, and I don't have the same deep faith that Maximilian Kolbe had. But what I think I see in him is the same battle to be the best version of ourselves that we all have today. The truth is I haven't always made the right decisions in my life. But when I think about what Maximilian Kolbe's death could mean for me, it's an example of how we can live. Because there's never a moment in our lives where we can't stop and help somebody else, mm. somebody we know, somebody we love, or somebody we've even never met before. That's the example I take from the life and death of this extraordinary man. Mm. Jeez. For one million Jews, Poles and other minorities were murdered in the Titans. Jesus. Yeah man, I guess those words are just to keep them there like is important. Oh man, that is oh that is like heartbreaking story. It's like the sort of story that is like a bit of an emotional roller coaster. It's so inspiring to hear how he lived before this this moment. He put he, he put himself, uh, he put everyone else before himself always. He was always trying to help people, always trying to put his faith first. And then when he actually went to Auschwitz and did this, like give up his life for the man to hear the man's children uh, were taken as well. Like, oh, that's, it makes me hurt inside. And, uh yeah, it's again. It is a very inspiring story for people to like always help other people, always put other people first, and like if everybody could live a bit more, even not fully like him, not fully putting other people first, but just be a bit more like that, the world would be such a better place. Uh, yeah, I mean, my hands are like literally sweating after hearing that story. What a man, Maximilian Kolbe, another man who should never be forgotten, another Polish hero. The thing about the po the Polish heroes I'm learning about is it's not, as I said, not just these moments of hero like her of a heroic nature. It's just the way they live their life, how brave they are, how honest, how great they are. Tell me if you know of his story before. Tell me what you think about it. And yeah, tell me what you think about this video as well. Maximilian Kolbe, the saint of Auschwitz. Thanks.